Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. This video will be in two parts. The first one is an 800 I did on Sunday and the second part is a 3000 I did tonight, uh, which is Thursday. And I've got my sub 60 400 meter attempt on Saturday at Causedon, about midday-ish. So nice little series of races for me. So I hope you enjoy these two views of my racing and I'll look forward to seeing you later. Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. I've come out for another 800 meter race today, my second of the season. I've come to Lee Valley Athletic Centre. I've actually been here before, which is quite uh, unusual for me, considering I did the uh, running track directory, runtrackdr.com, so I'll be able to check that out as well. So I did a little half a mile, just sort of jaunt around my block at home, just to loosen out the legs. It was about just over an hour's drive to get here from, uh, from Surrey over to the other side of London. Okay, right, let's, um, let's check in and see you later. All right, so I arrived at Lee Valley, got through registration, had Dave Bedford in the queue, uh, checking out who people were. He was the uh, former 10,000 meter world record holder. Anyway, I got my number, here it is, and standing at the indoor track behind, 200 meter indoor track at Lee Valley. I've never actually run an indoor track, so I might see if I can nip around a lap later on, just if I can see what they feel like. But uh, anyway, I'm out, actually outdoors, and the outdoor truck is over there. So right, I'm gonna get myself warmed up. Right, see you later. So here we are after my race. I did 2.18, I won it, so I was very pleased with that. No, Phil, what was your time? Uh, 2.38. And when did you beat anybody? What? Yes, somebody just, <laughs> but only because they let me through. Oh, I'm so cruel. Yeah, um, I, I live in Right, I'll give it a rundown later. And, um, well, I thought we were in a time warp here. It's like uh, Pat, yeah, you, me, you did an eight, me and Phil did an 800. Lisa Webb. Yeah. 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 You've sort of been here about 1985, haven't you? Yeah, thing was. Yeah. Phil didn't do 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's slower, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's my Ealing teammates, Phil and uh, yeah, no, it's going on Phil and Pat, yeah. We were just a bit slower than we were, but... Uh, I, I ran a season's best, though. Did you? Was it? Yeah, you missed, missed the other race, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. You going for a warm, Dan? I'll come from down yeah, yeah, good, right. Hello, so I've done my warm down, I've done the race, I'm very pleased with my run, I'm winning 218.6 or something like that. I was through the bell in 68 following a lady who was uh, setting a very nice pace and I sort of took the lead just after the bell, tried to sort of stretch out down the home straight and got to about 50 to go and legs went a bit, but uh, yeah, I managed to get over the line. And uh, yeah, well pleased with that, that's my best time for four years. So uh, it certainly shows that with the 800s you, and the, these shorter races, you need a few to get into the swing of it, track sessions and races. So that was eight seconds quicker than I managed at Harrow, admittedly in rather worse conditions. I think the dragonfly spikes helped as well because my speed now, I've just really appreciated the sort of the extra cushioning on them. And when you're flagging, the last thing you really want is like, like a rock hard um, feeling like you're getting like soon victories. If you're flying around the track at sort of 51, 52 a lap, then uh, maybe you don't notice, but I, I certainly felt I did. Anyway, so um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for coming along and see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. So I've got another track race, this time a 3,000 metre race. So I'm just heading off now from home. I've done, done a half a mile little sort of loosen around the block, which worked quite well for my 800 on on Sunday. So I thought I'd give that a go, just get a bit of loose, um, get a bit of loosened off before I get in the car. So it's about a, just over an hour's drive, traffic permitting, but it um, might be a bit um, slow. So I need to be there for just after six, I think, and then the race starts near seven. So right, I'll get going and see you later. At least today it's not pouring down a rain as, as it was on the, the one that went to this venue at Harrow before. Okay. Hello. Hello, I'm in race three. Sorry.
Okay. Tim Gross, um, uh, race three in pit 3000. Sure, um, just so you know, I'm not at the infield section, on the grass there, just so people can go there and they'll let you know when to go on the track. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, uh, Tim Gross in race three. Tim? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, don't number? Is it always in there? Yeah, it's in there. Okay, it's <laughs> small. <laughs> Thanks. Right, I managed to make it through uh, the reception into the venue. Oh, I'm feeling looking good. So okay. Phil and me both, we were both, no, you were, you were just edged out for third, weren't you? I was you? third, You yeah. were third, I was yeah. second. And we both yeah. had like young, well, there was one, in Phil's race had a like some old bloke, wasn't he? Well, he wasn't as old as us, but he was a, a <laughs> senior man. Yeah. And I had some guy about 15 who went off. I was thought I was catching him, but didn't quite get him on in the last lap. He won by about five or six seconds, I think. And we were both running for our new, in the colours of our new club. Well, yeah, I mean, new since 2013. So I think I did 10.31-ish, on un unofficial hand time. And Phil did? 11.23 in, oh, okay. my, in my Wimborne AC. So that was, that was probably better than your 800s, really, wasn't it, I'd say? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're certainly much more competitive in that race, weren't you? So. Yeah, well, it was a race. Yeah, it, it was a it race, like yeah. On. <laughs> yeah, I felt like a bit, I, I was stuck behind... Uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't be uh, sort of uh, say this the wrong way, but I stopped having a lot of girls at the start. I didn't, I didn't know which lane to run in. Then I realised I heard 86 on the first lap, thinking, well, that's a bit too easy, isn't it? I need to push on here. So I think I got back into about 83s. Um, so I've almost got back to 84 averages. So that's, yeah, I think I sort of sped up slightly, but then I probably got to a point of 
equilibrium and that guy was a carrot but he was just too far ahead in the end to uh yeah. i think the days of old i could have picked it up for a sub 60 last lap but they, they've long gone is this video go video going on youtube probably Tim? yeah so Richard two days to go into my uh sub 60 400 meter temp which i think i need to be <laughs> need to be somewhat running better than i did today for that okay. but there we go these are aggressive warm-up what do you do for a 400 warm-up I don't know, do you sort of like come into it almost out of breath? But, uh, ah. Like in a last rep in a session or something. But, uh, so this is race four. You kind of think, I always look at these races and think, well, where would I have come in this one? And, um, and there's somebody who's like up to my knee who's in, in the lead, which is always uh, interesting. How, what, what must her stride length be? I think some of the people in race two um we're a bit ambitious with their times yeah they're slower than us well this is i mean that's i've now got i've got a first first and a second in open meetings and you always kind of feel i'd like to put a sort of realistic time mm. and then you find well where is everybody they're all like you know sort of well you put down quite there. you put down ten and a half didn't you i did and i did think yeah. i did ten thirty one, but i mean yeah, okay. i was second by quite a long way wasn't i you know uh, yeah, there was yeah. a point I think with about 600 to go where you, I was willing you to make a move. Yeah, I thought I was catching him then, but then he, and then with the bell to go, I thought, oh, if I really cane it, and then, but of course it's easier said than done, is it? The old legs are starting to go. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. and I think he picked up a bit as well, to be fair. So it was, I would have felt a bit cruel, cruel beating him because he'd yes. done all the work. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've done races like that before. You run, you run all the way, and you get beaten on the line or something. Yeah. You know, that's really annoying, but. Uh, yeah. It's an interesting race going on. A so we're race four. Some guys like me checking in all these times. Come on, Lucy. Right. Right. So not too bad. Nice little run out. I'll have a rest. Well, a little rest. I have a very easy day tomorrow, and then come out on Saturday for my sub sixty attempt. And I have got a fifteen here in two weeks' time. Are you done for the fifteen, Phil? Or I'm running eight hundred. You're running eight hundred. I've got two eight hundred meter races lined up. One at Yeovil on the twentieth. Yeah. And then there's one here on the. 24th? So have you not done a 1500? I'm not going to bother You're this not bother. season. Yeah. I still think I... I've well, see if I, can get under, see if I can get under five minutes, because um, based on that, it's... Um, well, my 800 is definitely a lot, lot better. Mm. But it, I think they always were. That was the problem I always find. Although, although I could do a sub three marathon, yeah. the, the further I get on the track, the harder it seems to come for some reason. And John Fielding. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right, we shall sign off. Thanks a lot for coming, and okay, see you later. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Well, I'm going to join...